We need the latest now on the crisis in Syria. Secretary of State John Kerry's high-stakes diplomacy to get the Syrians to give up their chemical weapons continues today in Switzerland. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz tracking all the developments. And Martha, a little tension between Kerry and his Russian counterpart yesterday. Today he's calling the talks instructive. He is, George. There's bound to be drama in these complicated and urgent talks. But this morning, some signs of hope. This morning, before round two of talks, encouraging news. Secretary Kerry saying the dialogue thus far has been constructive. What a difference a few days and a threat of force makes. After denying for years he even possessed chemical weapons, Bashar al-Assad now says Syria will join the International Chemical Weapons Convention, which would require it to declare and destroy its stockpile of more than 1,000 tons of chemicals. But Assad said Syrian officials would take at least a month before turning over weapons in what he called standard procedure. Secretary of State John Kerry flatly rejected the request. This is not a game. It has to be verifiable. It has to be credible. There ought to be consequences if it doesn't take place. While Russia and Syria want the threat of a military strike removed while talks continue, well, Kerry you. said that is not happening. President Obama has made clear that should diplomacy fail, Force might be necessary to deter and degrade Assad's capacity to deliver these weapons. And while progress has been made, there is a long way to go before even the most basic trust is established. You want me to take your word for it? <laughs> it's a little early for that. Okay. 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 But the goal is clear. Both men agreeing that they want this resolved. As the Russian foreign minister said this morning, we want it resolved quickly, professionally, and as soon as practical. George? And a lot of work yet to be done. Okay, okay Martha, thanks very much.